Okay, good morning for round two here at uh, Withlacoochee State Forest. Same general location as before, just a different picnic table. There is, again, someone mowing um, over there. He'll start up again here in a minute. Now here is a uh, mower idling. It was a beautiful ride in today. I've got sunny blue skies, so uh, I don't think any chance of getting rained out like last time. The gear's dry. I'm not going to be here too long. The main reason to be here is I want to make an activation where I monitor the temperature of the FX4CR. And I've got this little thing affixed on the back. It's almost showing the first digit to be red. Very, very light red. I've got another one here that's going to read ambient. And I've got this thing that shows ambient right now to be... 84 degrees so that makes sense of the first digit trying to go red at 86 all right so I'm going to monitor I'm going to log not only who I work but also the temperature of the ambient versus the rig as I get into the act to the activation and there goes the mower just as I want to start up so uh, anyway we'll make the best of it here I'm going to be exclusively on 20 meters let me show you the antenna here in a second right behind me on that grill and I've got two radials on the ground in addition to the rig and antenna I'm going to be using the ATU 10 I probably don't need it but I like to have it anyway quick look at the temperature it's uh, ambient is 86 the rig is two dots showing 95 how does it feel just, just a little warm
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, temperature. Four of them are lit now, showing 113 Fahrenheit, 45 Celsius. And the ambient is still about, let's find out exactly, 90. How does the case feel? I would call that very, very warm, maybe hot. All right, I'll call CQ again. So first of all, I want to shorten the delay. I cut off, or the radio cut off a few people's, the initial part of the reply to me because my delay is set so short, for so long, I mean. And the reason it's set long is because there's a lot of interaction between the delay that you set and the CW speed that the keyer is set at. So I'm trying to find a happy medium so that I don't get keen issues. Probably heard at that time. Ambient in the shade, 89 still. So I guess that's not too bad. I mean, I'm putting out 20 watts and I've been doing that for 15 minutes and I'm up to 113. Let me see what this thing says on the read temperature. 115. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um, let me show you that this amount of operating, how long is that? About 20 minutes. Put me at about 113. and sixteen ambient is ninety and the mower is starting back up and that's why I'm gonna call it quits. The rig is hot but not super hot. It's been hotter. Other people have uh, mentioned that their radio was shut down so I'm curious at what point that happens. I don't want to get there but uh, I'm obviously okay up to uh, four of these things being lit up showing 45 Celsius. Okay, everything fits in this Icom backpack pretty well, and none of it is Icom. And this will fit in the rearmost case on the back here. There's the coaxial cable, the mount, and the radials. right here and shuts perfectly and I just use bungee cords to um, strap the the whip and the tripod which I did not use today if that grill hadn't have been there I would use the tripod in the same way to mount the whip with the vice grips but I did need to do that today anyway let me uh, get everything packed up thanks again and uh, 73